now we're going to be adding the actual stuff for our experience log. So we're going to add up here public item stack on item right click uh, parentheses item stack stack world world entity player player now make sure you guys uh, follow my capitalization and stuff uh, but the variable variable names don't really matter uh, but the class names do all right so we're going to return stack and then up above that mod loader make sure it's capitalized like that dot open GUI uh, players the first thing and then new GUI experience log stack so what does this mean is that whenever the player uh, right clicks uh, with this item as the current in the current in slot like as the current item in the slot uh, we're going to open uh, the GUI experience log uh, which we're going to create in a second all right uh, before we do that though I have to add in some other stuff uh, public void add information item stack stack I'm a list list squiggly brackets and all that uh, you're going to get an error here just click uh, hover over it and uh, import list java.util make sure you, you choose java.util all right so int level equals get level stack dot get damage got get item damage I should say all right so the way that we're going to be storing how much experience is in uh, is in this item experience log uh, we're going to be using the item damage uh, because this item really can't be destroyed uh, by usage usage uh, we are free to do this all right so then list dot add level plus uh, bracket I mean parentheses actually I'm gonna do this another way hold on so string uh, S equals levels all right so by default it's actually I'm gonna wait hold on if levels level equal equals one S equals level list dot add level plus s oh, hold on hold on uh, make sure you add a space there and a space there right there there you go so now what does this do uh, for the tooltip uh, this will actually add another line of text right there so you're gonna have experience log in blue and then you're going to have two levels or if level is one you only have one level it's going to be experience log one level so that's that and now you're going to have an error right here uh, the method get level int is undefined so click I mean click on create method get level all right uh, now we're going to change this a little bit uh, this should be XP uh, because we're getting the level uh, from the experience so float experience equals XP uh, now this uh, this uh, function and the next one is just going to be uh, the minecraft experience functions as of 1.2.5 I didn't make uh, this like function up it's what the Minecraft, uh, how it uh, calculates experience levels. That's all it is. It's basically from the Minecraft code itself. So uh, just follow along with me and make sure you type it in right. Now I believe uh, for 1.3 uh, that the way that experience levels are, it changes. So that means in 1.3 we're going to have to change this method. Uh, but we'll get to that obviously when 1.3 uh, is out. 
All right, so after that, int level equals zero, while experience, not capitalized, don't do that, is greater than, equal, greater than or equal to, xp bar cap level, uh, squiggly brackets, X, no, that's bad, don't type like that, experience minus equals xp bar cap level plus plus level and then after that return level now it's going to say that this uh, method doesn't exist so click on uh, create method uh, we're going to make this an int actually and then we're going to return seven plus uh, parentheses level times seven greater than greater than one uh, now what this is doing you guys don't need to know like how it works uh, but if you want to know what this greater than and greater than uh, means it's a bit shift uh, you know all uh, integers and all that are stored on a computer using bits so that function, I mean that uh, that operator right there, uh, messes, uh, changes uh, the bits, so it changes the number. Uh, but again, like I said, uh, don't worry about like what this stuff does, because you guys really don't need to know it. All right, so save, and let me just make sure everything's right. Hold on. Yep. Okay, we're looking good. All right. Uh, now. We have an error right here, so uh, click on create class GUI experience log, and then click finish. And now this class is a very, very large one, so uh, make sure you don't mess up. <laughs> so we're going to start off by making the constructor public GUI experience log. And I should mention that uh, when at the end of this tutorial, the last video, I'm going to be uh, uh, posting the source up online. So you guys can get the source. I'll be posting the mod up, and I'll be posting uh, the image file, of course. Uh, but of, of course, that's when it's done. So, item stack stack squiggly brackets. This dot stack equals stack, and now we need to add in. There we go. Private item stack stack, and then our other variables public final int max underscore xp in capitals equals 4625 uh, this is the max experience uh, for our item log I mean our experience log uh, 400 4625 experience uh, means exactly level 50 uh, in case you guys didn't know you probably didn't know that so then private GUI button this this is gonna be our button uh, on the screen, deposit, comma withdraw, semicolon, private int xp level, uh, private float experience. Uh, now, don't really worry about what these are. Like I said before, well, experience level is obviously the level. It's basically going to be the same thing that we have in here. It's the Minecraft experience code. All right, so. First thing first, uh, public void init GUI. Uh, this is called when the GUI is first created and also uh, when the GUI is resized. So basically, uh, you're going to want to clear everything in your GUI and reset and uh, like put it back on. So control list dot clear. Control list is your list uh, with all the buttons in the GUI. Or it doesn't actually have to be buttons, but normally it is. So if stack dot get item damage is greater than max XP stack dot set item damage max underscore XP all right so what this is saying is if someone if the item itself uh, if the item damage is greater than the maximum that it should be we're going to lower it to that uh, to the maximum so normally you wouldn't need this unless people hack uh, but people hack, so 
we're going to use that as a safety precaution so it doesn't actually work. All right, now deposit, actually XP level equals get level stack dot get item damage. Uh, like I said, we're gonna have this, uh, this is going to be the same code from our other function, but I'll add that in, I'll add that in later. So now deposit, we we'll actually get to the buttons, equals new GUI small button. I'll make sure you capitalize that right. And then we're gonna say one, that's the uh, button ID, comma, width divided by two, minus 75. Uh, that's where the button should be located. Uh, giving in, uh, width divided by two minus 75. Uh, means that the button is centered because I believe uh, GUI small buttons have a width of 150. Uh, that's how you get it to be centered. And then comma height divided by 2 minus 15 comma quotations deposit XP. Alright, uh, this is uh, the string that's actually drawn on the button and this is uh, the Y location of the button. And now Deposit dot enabled equals MC dot the player dot experience total is greater than zero and then stack dot get item damage is less than max XP. Now you guys may be wondering what does this mean? Now uh, the only way that a player can deposit experience is if the player has experience and that uh, this item isn't full. If the item's full, you can't deposit experience. And if the player does not have any experience, they obviously can't deposit any, right? So that makes sense. Now, control list.add deposit. Like I said before, you have to add all of your buttons to this list. And now we have to make the withdraw button. So withdraw equals new GUI small button. Two, that's gonna be the button ID. And the same thing, width divided by two minus 75, comma height divided by two plus 10. Uh, that's the location, the Y location, I figured that out. Uh, sometimes you just have to mess with it, uh, especially with the Y, you just have to mess with it. All right, uh, comma withdraw XP. And then semicolon and then withdraw dot enabled equals stack the get item damage is greater than zero obviously a player can only uh, withdraw experience if there's actually uh, experience on this item right that makes sense now control list dot add withdraw Don't forget to save randomly. Uh, 